to you, uh, Sean, once again. Um, that's very interesting, isn't it? No official confirmation. Is this the building that we're talking about, potentially? It is, Nick. Um, Ukraine claims that Russia has been targeted this and says this was a blood transfusion centre. Um, obviously, the images are pretty dramatic it's of the destruction. Uh, and President uh, Zelensky uh, came onto social media on Twitter and was very clearly very angry around this. But it is worth setting some context here, because overnight, there were you know, massive Russian missile attacks the whole of, across the whole of uh, Ukraine, all the way down from the southwest Odessa up to Kharkiv in, in the northeast. There are also reports that some of these missiles actually came from Belarusian territory. Now, if that was true, that would mark a major uh, escalation. But what Ukraine reckons is that some electronic warfare that uh, Russia's using to try and make it look like they came from there. But we'll keep an eye on, on that. But uh, Ukraine claimed there were 70 missiles. Uh, this is the results of a grain store that was hit just southwest of Kyiv. Inevitably, although um, Ukraine claims they shot down most of them, some get through, and even those that didn't, the debris falls down. And therefore, the attack on the uh, blood centre might or might not have been deliberately targeted. We just don't know. But uh, it's not only Russia that's been doing missile attacks. Russia claims that Ukraine has done a missile attack itself. Um, this is on the Chonar um, Bridge, which is just to the north of Crimea. It links Crimea to the mainland of Ukraine. And of course, uh, Russia is using uh, Crimea to resupply its route. So this is only happened today, and this is another escalation in the war. And no coincidence, perhaps, that this is coming after those naval drone attacks. We've seen two ships, haven't we, uh, the uh, Russian-owned or certainly registered attacked in the past couple of days. Absolutely right. I mean, it looks like retribution, which sounds daft in the middle of a war, but the harsh reality is that uh, Russia has uh, lost two ships that they never expected to lose. But this is a bit of a, uh, a, a sideshow, to be honest. Let's go on to the main story, which is actually the war is split into two halves at the moment. In the Donbass, actually, Russia is actually on the front foot. Up to the north there at Kubiansk, it's taking ground, and it's slowed down the Ukrainian advances around Bakhmut. The main effort for Ukraine is down in Zaporizhia area, where they're pushing hard. But bluntly, we're in the ninth week of this campaign, and they're still struggling to make progress. Join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.